Oh no, these hands are so oh, ashy. Let's put some juice setting spray on these nasty ass hands. That's how lazy I am. That's how lazy I am. Okay, I probably look so crazy like starting off this video like this, but today I'm going to be following a Kosher Beauty makeup tutorial. As you can tell from the title, I asked you guys on Instagram, I was so like torn between so many like beauty gurus that I watch online, there's just so many of them, but Kosher won by far, like that's not even a question. Yeah, I'm going to be following her tutorial jumping on the bandwagon with this one because I feel like it's everywhere on YouTube and uh, to be honest I have been watching quite a few especially um, Jackie Aina ones, Bretman Rock ones I feel like this is a bit different because you know it's like a Desi YouTuber I don't know I'm, I'm kind of like really excited to do this video because obviously Koshal has her own technique so I'm not going to be used to that so we'll just see how this goes I don't have all the products that she uses by the way I did look at her product list and I don't know how this is going to play out while I play the video, but I'm going to see. So I'm going to go to the side here. So I chose the purple cut crease makeup video. It just looks so stunning. Like the eye look itself looks so stunning. I just forgot I forgot a glitter liner, but I can just get that later. It looks so nice, honestly. Okay, I, took my, I put my hair like this because it's just all up in my face. So I got, I got the bun and everything. She's just so sweet. Face right now. It is a purple look how gorgeous that eye look is. Which is super appropriate for Diwali this year. I hope you guys have the best time celebrating. So a lot of gold and I had a lot of like purples and greens. Purple's so popular. I was popular. initially going to do a green but then I realised I hadn't done a purple eyeshadow look in a very, very, very long time. Which is why I thought I would do this. You can totally pair it with a different lip if you want to. But I obviously went for nude because I seem to only be wearing nude on my lips recently same um, girl yeah, same a switch like the glitter up to a gold glitter and primer i'm gonna then move on to eyes and then finish the rest of the base off and whenever it's like an occasion i always like to use like some of my best or favorite makeup so i'm actually going to take my favorite primer of the moment which is the fenty beauty primer i really like this Good. because i feel like it primes my skin but also moisturizes at the same time that's why i, I like it. That it helps with my foundation lasting longer but i just love the way that it feels on my skin She's so gentle when she puts her primer on. Well. I'm just like... It's just like so professional. I find that whenever I put this on underneath my foundation, my skin in flash photography just looks incredibly like dewy and glowy and healthy. Okay, wait. So, I put my Penty Beauty Primer on. I don't have that Charlotte Tilbury thing. So, the closest thing I had was actually this Healthy Glow... Um, Moi tinted moisturizer so i'm just gonna put this on it's got like a slight tint like it changes color let's go a little pinky on me but it does have that really nice like youthful glow and like the title basically moving on to foundation very very quickly i'm gonna take the ysl all hours foundation this is in the shade BD30 and I'm going to mix some of my True Match into that and I'm going to bounce all of that into my skin using my damp beauty blender before we move straight up. Okay so um, she used two different foundations. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Foundation in the shade 8. I'm using this because she used the YSL foundation and I'm guessing, well I think, I think that's like a really full coverage foundation so I'm just going to use this Charlotte Tilbury one. And she bounced her thing on there. So I'm just going to do it like she does. On into the eyes. Before I forget, I'm also going to put some lip balm on Oh, I need some too. Do I look like I'm getting ready for bed? I actually, it is very late right now. I do. I'm gonna go to bed after this. I'm gonna use my Wonder Kiss lip oil. It's really good. And I'm gonna move on to my eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime them. I'm gonna use my Sephora waterproof um, eyeshadow pencil. This is in the shade Secret Boudoir. And then I'm also gonna set that. Okay. Wait. 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 
So for that, I don't have that thing. So I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro HD Eye Base. Um, it's actually really good. It's in the shade Nude. It's kind of similar to what she's using. I do have my brows kind of film, filled in from earlier on, but they're fading away on the edges because... Um, what was I saying? Okay, she used setting powder, so I'm going to use my LA Girl... What am I doing today about what? what? I want to use my LA Girl Banana Powder. No, I haven't done a purple eyeshadow look in forever. And it really complements brown eyes, so I thought I would do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my crease and really build that up. And That's so true, guys. I love wearing purple eyeshadow because it just complements brown eyes so much that, like, I can't even tell you. That's why I love doing purple, and I feel like that's why you guys ask me a lot. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to first start off with this shade right here, and I'm just going to... Okay, so the colour she's using, I don't have the palettes that she's using, so I'm going to grab my Makeup Revolution Soap Palette, and I think the shade she used is very... almost similar to this one right here. I'm going to build that colour up until I'm happy with the level of kind of roundness and shadow do you know what i'm going to use this shade right here just to mix them this shade right here i think that's a little bit similar isn't that so much more similar to what she was using Diwali for me, it's always go glam or go home. I like to go really full out, or I'll go with just like my makeup that I do all the time. She's really so going far out. Because I want this to be a really gorgeous, like purpley kind of cut crease, um, I am going to intensify this outer corner right here. So I'm going to take my next Cool Neutrals palette. I don't, the closest colour I have to that what she's using is this. So I'm going to be using this. And then she's using a tube. But I'm downstairs and your girl's crazy, so we're going to be using tomato paste. Girl, take your tomato paste tube. Don't be shy. We've got extra large tubes out here. And just packed it on, I guess. Make sure you stay safe. So I've got the main bulk of like the skeleton of where I want the dark. This is not a bad technique though. Which is a little bit more purpley, and I'm going to mix this one into it as well. And just really deepen that outer corner a little bit more. Okay, she went with a dark colour. So I think I'm just going to go in with the black here and deepen it up a bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to take, don't forget your tomato paste. And we're going to just deepen it. A little bit, just a slight bit. And then she took a big fluffy brush and just blended the edges, she said. Brush, I'm just blending out all of the edges to make sure it's nice and uh, not so messy looking. Well, to actually cut the crease, I am going to use some of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one in particular is in the shade Light Sand. Okay, she used Tarte Shape Tape, which I've got here. I used Tan Sand. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Cut, but I am going to take this shade right here, which is from the Cool Neutrals palette, and I'm just going to set that area in place where we've applied okay, that concealer so that it's not going to budge anywhere and that when we apply the eyeshadows on top, they don't tug and they blend in really nicely. We are nice and set. So now I'm going to go in 
with some shimmery shades on the part where we've cut the crease. Um, and I'm actually going to use this eyeshadow palette right here. This is a new one by Urban Decay. I believe it's called the Heavy Metals palette. I, want to call it. I will leave all the details of all the products that I use in the info box below. But first of all, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is kind of like a rosy, pinky champagne. Okay, I kind of have a color like this, similar. It's from the Soph palette, and it's this one right here. I need to fix my nails, guys. Don't judge. Don't judge. So she used a little tiny brush. Pack that on this bit here. Main color, and I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of the eyes. Yeah. In case you're wondering, this shade is called Angel Fire. I feel like Urban Decay always have the best names for everything. And I definitely feel like the person who does this as a job has one of the best jobs in the world. A metal head. It's such a gorgeous purple. And I'm going to apply that to the areas where basically there's no uh, eyeshadow. So we're going to blend all three colors in together. <laughs> Don't know what happened to my voice there. So she used a colour like this. This is a thing I have similar to it. This is the Urban Decay After Dark palette. This is the shade Backfire. And I'm just I think she used the same brush. But I'm just gonna blend all these shades together and then um, we will make sure that everything's looking neat. Out of corners a little bit. I'm gonna take just the darker shade that we used from the Neutrals palette and I'm gonna take my little makeshift guide right here. And I'm just going to go and deepen that up a little bit. A bit of this purple here as well, just to make it like stand out a bit more. Wait. I am going to look that up a little bit, just so that we've got like a nice gradient. Okay, so you should put more of that dark colour. So. Oh no, she's gonna highlight. my eyebrow highlight, I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution highlight palette. I think I'm gonna take this shade right here, which probably has to be like my favorite out of the whole lot. But I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna just highlight my brow bone and I'm gonna make sure all the colors nice and blended as well at the end. Before I do anything else to my eyes, I'm gonna just do my highlighting and concealing. So I'm gonna just take my Maybelline eraser eye and I'm by the way I just use the same eyeshadow we use in the inner corner as my brow highlight I'm just, just going to use my Tarte shape too the usual areas that I like to conceal and highlight my face and then I'm also going to blend all of that out as well oh wait she's already on to blending wait 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 highlight my face and then I'm also going to blend all of that out you should put it up that high you should put it a little bit there she's already done blending guys I know it's a tutorial and it's quicker but Really, 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 really liking this look. What? Look at them eyes. What? I should bring my eyeshadow higher up usually because normally I just stop like at the crease because I always felt like it doesn't suit me. But then when looking at this look, like I'm just like, Koshal's got me experimenting. I'm telling you. It really helps kind of sharpen that liner. It really does. Like too crazy sharp. Just nice and diffused, but just cleans it up a little bit. Yeah, so I totally have agree very with that. quickly filled my brows in. I did it off camera, so I did for you guys. Oh, I did it too. I did it off camera. Let's do the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter. Urban Decay Glitter Liners are so, so good. I need to get that colour because that colour is so good but my I'm going to get my one. I have a silver one. Anyways, I have the Heavy Metals Eyeliner by Urban Decay. This one's in the shade Glam Rock. It's more of like a silver but I feel like it could go with this, you know, look. Oh wait, she could use the paper. So for setting powder, I don't have, I need to get that Charlotte Tilbury powder, but I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown uh, Nude Finish Illuminating Powder in Buff. I totally forgot to do that, but this concealer's pretty good. It doesn't oh, really, she forgot. really smudge, so I think we're good. I knew there was something wrong. Front. 
not um, wrong, but my face. I'm that I usually do. So. Pro Glow palette, palette, palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here, which is like a bronzy kind of contoury shade, and I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, contouring my face, my nose as well. I'm just going to go over. I oh, should use her phone. Your, her phone? She, she did her nose as well. Okay, I think I'm going to use... I've basically got my Nip and Fab contour palette and I think I might go with this one. Do you know, I wasn't too sure how to say... I've been watching Koshal for so long and I wasn't too sure how to read, really, like, say her name and I would always go to up to people and be like, Do you watch Koshal? Koshal? Do you watch Koshal? Like, like a freshie, you know? I don't even know if that's actually how you say it in in, in, in Hindi or, you know, um, I think she is Punjabi, I'm not too sure, but anyways, um, I'm not too sure if that's how you say it, if you were going to say it in an Indian accent, but I would literally say Koshal, and then I heard her say her name in like a video, and I was like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I think I might use this one for my nose. Oh, she went with her beauty blender. Blended, and it's not looking patchy. And to finish off the cheeks, no, we I'm don't want no the patchy. same Makeup Revolution palette, and I'm going to use this kind of pinky tone to put on the apples of my cheeks first. Just going to give us a nice kind of like glowy cheek. Wait, I don't have that. Rather than like a matte cheek. But I have eye, but we're going to try it. I have this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use this colour. It looks very similar to one in the palette. I'm gonna put this on apples. And then I'm just gonna run my fan brush just up and down all those shades and just start palletting them. Oh, she's already on highlight. And I love how like creamy this is. It's getting stuck in my hair. So she used uh, the highlights in the Makeup Revolution highlight palette. I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution strobe highlighter in Gold Addict. And she was just highlighting her face. I just love how glowy and healthy my cheeks look every single time I use this. It's so super pretty. I it was over there thought I only had my lips left to do, but I've realised that my eyes are half naked. So I'm going to work on the lower lash line Ooh. first. Oh. I'm actually going to sorry, a sorry to interrupt you, Joshua, sure, but I was just admiring the girl. But I'm going to run that on my waterline recently. But I'm like smudging it kind of line. You don't need to do like a She does it so easy. Um, She's just like I'm gonna do the same to this eye. Woo! So I'm gonna use this shade, this shade, and a bit of this shade, maybe these two. But as you can see, it just kind of does that smoking for you. I find that this way you really don't have to work much on your lower lash line. You just I have just popped some lashes on and done my mascara and now it's the final step. Well second to last step. Okay wait I'll be right back and do that as well. Okay I'm back. My intention was not to put eyeliner on a bit of eyeliner but my lashes were not blending you know they, they looked a bit rigid so I just smoothed out of eyeliner. And first I'm gonna line them using mahogany lip liner by NYX and kind of fill them all in not too crazy like neat but just enough so that there's a good base for our lipstick for my lip I don't have that lip color I'm just gonna wipe my lips so I'm using my Primark one in incognito but this lip liner crumbles very easily And then stick combo I'm using my two current faves and the first one I'm going in with is Bite Beauty's Blondie. This is a stunning, stunning nude. I find that it's quite difficult to wear. Okay, I'm using uh, Maybelline Nude Embrace. This is the matte lipsticks. I feel like it's very close to what she's using. Like, I definitely need to wear this with a lip liner. And then what else did you use? Wear it by I think I've got 
liner, but it's so comfortable to wear. And then I'm gonna go over the top using Don't Pink of It, which is one of my favorite like drugstore lipsticks ever. And it's by Bourjois, it's got a slight pink tint to it, which kind of gives it a more of a nudie feel. Last step is to set my skin, and I'm gonna use a mixture. Okay, so I didn't have that, but I have um, Lolita 2 by Kat Von D, and I just put that on top. I have two setting sprays. The first one is the Dewy Finish, um, which is by NYX, and I'm going to spray that on the areas where I have highlighted my skin. So I do about two sprays on those kind of top parts of my face, and then I just push that in with a damp sponge, and this just makes the highlight really nice and like melted into the skin and then I'm using my all nighter spray for the other parts of my skin and I don't have another setting spray and oh. this you guys is at the end of my Diwali makeup look I love the way that this has turned out she looks so gorgeous like can we just all no, over just again, can't. I'm just loving this cut crease with the glitter. Okay, so guys, this is the finished look that I followed from Koshal's video. I think this look is stunning. Stunning. Like, look at that highlight. My hair's a wreck, my hair's a wreck. I had so much fun doing this video. I love Koshal, like, I watch her videos since... I've been watching for like ages. I've been watching I think when she was around 100k or 200k, somewhere around there. Um, but she's just such a, she just, I've never met her but hopefully I do bump into her one day. I, I hope I do one day. Um, but she just seems so down to earth and genuine and I just love that and you can really see that through her videos. Um, let me know if you want to see me do more maybe, if you like it. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!